folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here's an update. What's going on at Yellowstone? Yeah, dark and dirty. Been quite a few earthquakes in the last 24 hours. But what's more concerning is one that they're saying is a magnitude 0 0.9. But it's actually a magnitude 2.1. How can they screw up on that? I don't know. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Down over here, this is the area where one of the last larger eruptions occurred about 70,000 years ago. This is a Pitchstone Plateau. And I've talked about how when Yellowstone had its last giant major eruption about 350,000 years ago, it did a counterclockwise rotation starting up by the Madison River area, uh, unzipping multiple eruptions coming down and around till it got down here uh, close to this location, Heart Lake, which is over here, I believe. And then that's when the... Uh, two resurgent domes, the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome and the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome um, collapsed at the same time. How could they get this as a 0 0.9 is beyond me? So we got Moose Creek, Idaho here on the left. This is the seismic signature. There's the spectrogram. The one next to it, I don't know, it's not working right or something. It's really strange. Is Denny Creek. Then we got Mary Lake, okay, and I'll go to its seismic signature right there. And then we got the Madison River area. That's where the um, unzipping, oops, wrong there, unzipping started um, 350,000 years ago. Let me go to the seismic signature here. And let me make this one bigger here. That was actually probably the stronger of the signature um, makes sense let me make this bigger this is probably one of the larger earthquakes they've had in the last 24 hours uh, let me bring it down a little bit farther and you can see um, at the bottom MD 2.18 and I'm gonna show you where look at that this is all fault movement all fault movement and then going to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. This is the monitor right here, close to uh, Pitchstone Plateau. USGS has 14 earthquakes listed within the last 24 hours. Looks like we got a 2.4 Stanley, Idaho right there. Um, let me bring it down. 5.1 miles in depth. Yeah, they've been having a lot of earthquakes over there also. This is what the monitor was showing when I pulled the files. I've got a small one, right? Where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Marked in red here, right there. A little tiny one. There's the spectrogram. But like I said, this one here, the 2.1, which they're claiming is, yeah, 0 0.9. That's probably one of the largest ones that they've had that I've seen on these monitors. <laughs> This other one right before, oh, about an hour before, um, they're not even reporting. You know, we got some popping of the ground. Looks like it came from the north there. This here is the 2.1 as it came in at Madison River. Yeah, if it was a 0 0.9, it wouldn't be registering all the way up north there. And then we got more stuff that was going on before that. Look at that. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, slow-moving tremors. Yeah, the ground's uplifting, getting so brittle that, yeah, see how it's all sharp points? Let me make that bigger. Yeah, the plates are moving. Look at that. Yeah, all through there. Let me close that and go back up over here. Yeah, let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah. It's been quiet for a while. I've been watching the snow come in. Boy, they've been getting some heavy snow. Heavy snow. We got a little quake somewhere in there. Looks like the line's off a little bit. Again, this is the Madison River area. Let me bring it down here. This is what it was showing when I pulled.
hold the files. Okay, I'll just bring it along this line here. Oops, went off the line, didn't I? And then this here is Mary Lake. Okay, let's go to the spectrogram. And I'll, I'll show you where Mary Lake's at. All right, then going back to um, Google Earth, let's go to where Mary Lake is at. It's up over here. Right there. And that's where the monitor's at. Okay, and it recorded this earthquake too. And we'll bring it down. Yeah, I got two sick grandkids here today. Yeah, poor babies. So it's about 23 miles northeast of where the earthquake occurred. And again, this is Mary Lake right there. We've got a couple more little smaller earthquakes. Um, let's come down here to some of the more recent ones. Some of them that might be a little bit larger. This is probably the largest one right there. Let's see. I want to look at the seismic signature. Yeah. 1834 not being reported. I'm not surprised. Um, that comes in as a magnitude 1.46. Yeah, I don't know who they got working there today. Let's see. We got another small one right there at 1843. Now, this is universal time. That one supposedly happened there in Stanley, Idaho. They're saying it's a magnitude 2.4, but I come up with a magnitude 2.27. I don't know what's going on with Denny Creek. Um, yeah, basically it was just showing lines of melt, but then all of a sudden, the last three hours, you can see we got uh, probably dike intrusion. Let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, see, that's what they call a screw wave or a tornillo seismic wave. The original paper that I had shared a link to was from Penn State. And now, <laughs> let me show you what it says. Message, token is required. So, um, probably since I published that one paper back in, um, what was it, last year, I think. Yeah, it's been blocked. So, I found this. Uh, I got another paper I can share with you. Tornillos are long period volcanic earthquakes. Each tornillo lasts for several minutes and the amplitude decreases producing a screw-like pattern on the seismograph. Long period seismic events are caused by pressure fluid movement close to the surface. Tornillos are an indicator of impending eruption at Galeris Redoubt and other volcanoes. The tragedy at Galeris Volcano in 1993, when nine people were killed, was preceded by Tur Turlino earthquakes. Turlino earthquakes were observed before the sci scientists entered the active crater, but were ignored. And it gives other examples. Yeah, my granddaughter is really coughing away. This article was published uh, May of 2021. And open access granted in uh, February 5th of 2024. Let's see. Among the signals, the class of volcanic tectonic VT earthquakes are connected to the stability of a local volcanic system and thought to be a diagnostic of deformation processes within a particularly um, of rock shear failure. Uh, also, we got low frequency seismicity <laughs> LFS events are linked to fluid movement processes. The LFS class continue a number of subclasses with one particular type having a unique waveform due to its screw-like shape known as a torlino, Spanish for screw. These signals have been observed on many different volcanoes around the world. And it talks about Galeris and some other ones here. A good example of the significance of a Torlino class is that Galeris, where the choked volcanic conduit caused the pressurization of the volcanic system and the following explosive activity. 
1992 and 93. Torlinos were recorded before the explosive volcanic events and were linked to the steady decrease gas emissions as the eruption approached. Torlino shaped infrasound event have been recorded more recently um, there at a volcano in Ecuador and it goes on. So this has been going on here for about three hours all the way up until when I I pulled the files. Um, that could have been um, 45 minutes ago but yeah look at that. Yeah yeah I don't know why Penn State uh, changed where I can't it was a document to download. Yeah. yeah, let's take a look at the spectrogram. So we got, yeah, one thick line amount and two, three smaller ones above that. This is what it looks like extracted. Yeah, we got the comb or sawtooth. Yeah, and this is Denny Creek. And then going to Google Earth, here's the location of Denny Creek. I've talked about this area before where it showed dike intrusion going on for the uh, one monitor. Um, which one is it? Let me find it. Well, I can't find it, but it's for the west entrance over here. We do have a GPS station somewhere over here. So here's the station for Denny Creek. Over here is Madison River, which would be this monitor here. So we need to go back uh, three hours probably, something like that. Um, let me pull it over. Somewhere in there is where it started acting up. Okay, and then it's, oops, went off the line. Now this is uh, east of Denny Creek. Okay. Yeah, and this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. For some reason, I haven't been able to get the boreholes to uh, work. They're not working. Um, 950 was good. Um, 207 was good. But they are conveniently not working. It looks like the live webcam has stopped working. Let me check another site to see. All right, I had to reload the page. Look how dark it is down here at the bottom for the uh, Firehole River. Look at that. Um, I've talked about this area before. They're, they're, um, because of the intrusion of the magma coming from the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome, there's actually a, um, a wall, I guess you could describe it as, lava of a dike intrusion down here, along over here, that blocks the magma from going through traveling further uh, to the left I mean if it's big enough and hard enough or volume enough it could melt it and go through there but look at that yeah this is why I tell you when you got the darkened steam that means the ground's heating up melting the rock and that melted rock is coming up with the steam. Yeah, look back up over here too, how dark that is. Yeah, um, Yellowstone has been recharging for about 6,000 years for another eruption. It is one of the few volcanoes in the world. Um, it actually has two resurgent domes. Um, other volcanoes only have one resurgent dome. I don't know who they got operating the camera today. They've been um having problems maybe with the camera but they've been looking up towards um the sky quite a bit look at over here on the right yeah yeah a lot of gas is coming up yeah a lot of heat yeah and they've been having like i said they got a lot of snow the last couple of days and that um snow will be melting percolating down into the fault systems we got someone over here yeah anyways yeah um it's all up to god when it, he decides uh when it's going to erupt but yeah this is concerning links to the document will be down below this video in the more information box and you can read those about the 
Torlino, the screw waves. Um, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.